Hi everybody, my name is Jim with Fulman Adventure Club and today we're going to be doing a cool experiment where we find out how long two lithium iron phosphate batteries, about 200 amp hours, is going to run a 15,000 BTU air conditioner in our RV equipped with an Easy Start 364 which eliminates the high surge of air conditioners. For those of you that really just want that information to get out of here, it's we got three hours out of this test running the air conditioner with two lithium batteries. That's awesome. But there's so much more information to be had, so I hope you stick tuned for all of it. Now, the two batteries that we're going to be using in this test are from Lion Energy, and they are Lion Safari UT1300 batteries. They are 105 amp hours a piece, lithium iron phosphate, uh, which is the safest chemistry there is. And basically what we're going to be doing is pitting that up against a Dometic Blizzard NXT, which is a 15,000 BTU air conditioner on the RV which pulls 1500 watts when the compressor is running and about 400 watts in between compression cycles. Um, we're gonna be using a Victron battery monitor with a battery shunt too, so we can monitor amp hours that we pulled out of these batteries and the wattage that were used and the percentage and the time next to a timer. So this is a really cool test. I did a similar test years ago uh, using two green life batteries and now I'm a little bit older, wiser, and my testing equipment is way, way better. So I'm really excited to revisit this test and check it out. The last time I did this test, we made it about an hour and a half before my battery um, alarm started going off on my inverter. And so I shut the test down when they were getting really low and the low voltage alarm went off at about an hour and a half. Um, I figured they probably would have gone to about two hours if I ignored the warning and everything. Um, but with those batteries, they're both 100 amp hours a piece as well. I only ever got 180 amp hours of the 200 I was supposed to get. And um, with these Lion Energy batteries, we get the full 200 amp hours out of these guys, which is really, really impressive. I think they're my new favorite battery. When I get the review done for them, I will put a card up top uh, when that review is done. And if you want to check them out, there's a link down below that'll get you 15% off. And on these batteries, that saves you like 150 bucks and makes them cheaper than Battleborn. So I think these might be my new favorite batteries. Um, so with this test, what we're going to do is disconnect the RV. We're going to disconnect the solar. And then we're going to go ahead and fire up the air conditioner, set all of our timers and record everything and just see how long it goes. I have disabled my low voltage on my inverter. So we're going to run these until the lights and everything just kick off. And... Um, you know, I didn't do that in the last test because my air conditioner is brand new and I was really nervous about damaging the compressor. But with the Easy Start 364, I think that's going to help protect it a little bit. And we're just going to let it run. And so I'm just going to throw caution to the wind and do this all the way down to zero. So with the RV disconnected, everything's turned off um, and no lights on, nothing else except the air conditioner. We're going to start that up. You can see we have zero volts coming in after we disconnected the AC uh, line, the shore power. So we have zero volts coming in. We're just running off the inverter and batteries and we're gonna fire this guy up. And as we look at this display now, the AC in is now at zero volts. Hopefully you can see that. And what we're gonna do is look right down here. We have our two Lion Energy batteries here, as you can see, and they are fully charged. I put them on the charger for a few hours and uh, they're up to, uh, I think about 13.6 volts. They, they got up to 14.6, but now they're in absorption. And then over here, we have this little setup with our timer and also our Victron energy monitor there on the phone. And then I'll record it with this phone. Okay, so we're recording everything. And we're gonna go over here to the AC. Turn that guy on. We are on heat pump though. We need to change that to AC. Cool. Okay. And right now it's 79 degrees in here. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay, so we have that turned on. We're at 79 degrees is the internal temperature. And we're going to set this to 70 degrees. And we are off to the races here, so I'm going to go ahead and start our timer. And it looks like we are consuming 100 watts right now. And we'll see how all of this goes. 
Now, as you can see, it's going to be going from about three, 400 watts with a fan going to 1500 watts, uh, which is about 125 amps of power. So that's a lot. It takes a lot to run off uh, an AC off battery power. But uh, what I think is really cool is that with the Easy Start 364, we don't have that huge surge that I had during the first test. I did not have the Easy Start 364 installed on my previous test. And so it would surge really high up to like 2800 watts just for a minute, just for a second. And then it would go down to 1500 watts. And with the Easy Start, it just goes right to 1500 and stays there. So I'm, sh I'm sure that's a pretty uh, helpful component to this test. And um, so I'm really liking the Easy Start. And as you can see, as we drain down, we're going to get to 0% um, before the batteries are actually dead. And I think that's because I had the calibrated to my Green Life batteries, not the new Lion Energy batteries. And with the Green Lives, I only got 180 amp hours out of them. These, I'm getting the full 200. So as it goes down and gets starts getting down to zero, and I'm sorry, I had to keep restarting my phone because it times out every 10 minutes. But as we get to the end of the test here, you're gonna, gonna see that my phone disconnects from the Victron battery monitor because there's no power left to do it. All the lights, you know, there's no power whatsoever to be had. So even my phone disconnected from the battery monitor because it's powered by the batteries. So I'm gonna go ahead and let you listen to, you can actually hear the air conditioner turn off and the phone's gonna die and everything else. So let's go to that. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. The AC is turned off. My phone is doing so, yep, looks like all the power is completely off. Okay, well there you go, guys. That is it. Two hours, 59 minutes. Incredible. And if we come over here to the batteries, the lights are now blinking. That is all she wrote. Yep, no lights, no nothing. Everything is dead. So there we go. What a cool test. Impressive. Okay, so we made it three hours, which is really, really impressive. Really cool with the new technology I can use with my battery shunt and the Victron battery monitor. We can see that we actually used 199 amp hours, uh, which is perfect. And they were able to run an air conditioner all the way to the very end of that. So that's very, very impressive that it could deliver enough juice all the way until it was completely dead. There are some playing factors in this that got us up to three hours. The Easy Start 364, I'm sure played a role. I know this because um, sometimes when I'm visiting a friend, I'll run a normal extension cord to their house to maybe try and run the AC while we stay there a day or two. And inevitably after about two hours, it trips their breaker um, because it's just a lot of power in with the surges. Same air conditioner, same extension cord, same house with the Easy Start 364, and I was able to run it all day. So it's definitely doing something for power consumption there. I will put a link down below that'll save you, I think, 10% off that um, if you're interested. And then the batteries, which are Lion Safari UT1300 lithium iron phosphate batteries. They're 105 amp hours a piece times two. Um, these things are really cool. They're lighter um, and smaller than my Green Life batteries were. And the Green Life's, for whatever reason, only ever gave me 180 amp hours out of the 200 they were supposed to. And uh, these delivered almost all their power, 200 amp hours, but they are 105 amp hour batteries. So one, you know, it should have been uh, 210, but we got 200 out of these and they're smaller than the Green Life. So that's really, really impressive. Definitely liking those. I'll put a review up top when I'm done with that. And down below, I talked to Lion Energy and they're giving me a coupon code for 15% off, which saves you right now 150 bucks off these batteries, which makes them cheaper than um, Battleborn batteries, which is totally awesome. So you might want to check that out with the link down below. Um, and also the thing that I'm really liking about the lithium iron phosphate batteries is that you can do this exact test, take them all the way down to zero and charge them all the way back up. Every single day you can punish these batteries like this and they'll last 9.6 years, 3,500 cycles. And at the end of that time, they're not even dead. They're at 80% capacity. So after 9.6 years, they're going to give you 80 amp hours out of the hundred. 
and that's incredibly cool to me. So definitely loving these guys. All those things combined um, was a really, really cool test. So if you start adding solar to this and maybe a couple of extra batteries, running an RV air conditioner off battery power alone is becoming more and more obtainable every day as technology improves. So I had a ton of fun doing this test. Um, I'm also gonna take one of those Lion Energy batteries and destroy it. I'm gonna drop it, run it over, shoot it with a shotgun just to make sure that they're completely fire safe for your RV because they are lithium iron phosphate, which is the safest chemistry there is. But I wanna see just what that means. So I'm gonna be destroying one of these batteries very soon. Stay tuned for that. That's gonna be super duper fun. I can't wait. Uh, but I have to finish my testing first. So that's it for this video. I hope that helped you out. I had a lot of fun doing it. Um, if you enjoyed it, please like, share, subscribe. That really helps me out. And until the next video, thank you so much for watching and happy camping.